the second half, episode six, Petaudry Street. Dr. Fa and his crew have narrowly avoided being arrested for D in the speed of light, when 20 would have been plenty. <laughs> Headline, Chief Constable McKerricher blasts time travelers for death-defying speed shocker. Outside Petaudry, Mike, one of the last Dom's fans. <laughs> is waiting for his pal, Ronnie. Joey, Joey Harper, <laughs> Joey Harper is a king. Are you going to the game? The game. <laughs> <laughs> is that a game on? Sazar Lankaran? Sazar Lankaran? Where are they playing? It dawns. Far about? <laughs> Here. Petodri? Aye. Oh. Did you fancy a picnic? It's a bit weak. No, a picnic bar. Oh. Thank you. So, are you going to the game? Oh, I'll hate to tell you the morning. I don't have any money. It's on a night. Aberdeen's two goals behind. Already? <laughs> no, that was in the warm-up. Oh. They're very good. Far. Sazar Lankaran? No, picnics. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, does only you two believe in aliens? I did not. Because <laughs> I've got in here. If you want to buy it. That's a tadpole. It is not. It is sucked. No, it's different from a tadpole. How? <laughs> it's black. <laughs> <laughs> So's a tadpole. Aye, but this thing can swim in water. <laughs> I'm going to buy you in a man. I'm the only one that sells aliens. No picnic. <laughs> How do you ken it's an alien? Close in the dark. Prove it. All right. Could we have a blackout, please? Have a lights up, please. <laughs> Mister. <laughs> See? Tell ya. Close the dark. <laughs> that was a torch. No, it was the alien. What oh, far did it come from? <laughs> <laughs> fell out of the sky. You see, about a fortnight ago, I <laughs> I was looking up at all the constipations. <laughs> I have a microscope. And, and suddenly there was this big whoosh for Uranus. <laughs> and then I found this lying in my back of the day. How did you care it fell? There was a stain in my jockey shorts. Oh, gods. No, there was on a washing line. I didn't hear them on. You wasn't out your back in the nude. What did it say? It wasn't a writing, it was just a stain. Oh, no, I never said anything. <laughs> Some intelligent alien. Can't even speak. You can't even speak. Oh, shut. <laughs> it is intelligent. Can fit indeed. Fit. Can turn into a frog. <laughs> and not only that, it's got superhuman strength. How come? Well, you see, 
The gravity on Uranus is 200 times what it is on Earth, so it can jump 200 times its own height. If I wasn't holding on to it, it could jump about that high. And uh, plus, they have to withstand enormous pressures. Watch this. What a go. <laughs> <laughs> You squashed it. <laughs> I was sure it was an alien. <laughs> wait, wait! Aberdeen's in danger. We're about to be invaded by the Daleks. How did you can? Well, I was just speaking to the minister for St. Marker's. He's off a posh. <laughs> and we was both deducted by the Daleks. And he just found Davros, the boy that created the Daleks, <coughs> digging this huge big hole under St. Marker's. I tell you, the Daleks is real. They're not real. They're just out of Doctor Who. No, they are real. I have evidence there was Daleks. Fit. TV 21. No. This. Your front door key. No, it's a Dalek key. What do Daleks need keys for? Fit. Well, they had got locks in their doors. They just go. This isn't for a door. This is one of the seven keys of time. I found it in my back end. Eh? I have a mind detector. Have you found any mines? Ah, then I find his mines. <laughs> no, but I did find a bicycle. How come you think it's a Dalek key? It's got Dalek writing on it. Well, what does it say? I don't care. I don't speak Dalek. No, I mean, what does it look like? Right. Uh, well, it looks like a, a three, uh, a seven, a V, and a, an upside down Y. What's that meant to mean? Well, three's the third dimension, time. The s seven's the seventh key. And V is the universal symbol for female sexuality. Oh. <laughs> like, like the one movie. The Da Vinci Code. No, Indiana Bones and the Temple of Poon. <laughs> Look, shut up. Fits a Y for it. <clears throat> the Y is like a diviner's twig. It represents searching, so you put them all together and it adds up to the seventh key of time. Let me see the key. Right, here you go. Uh, Three, seven, V, upside down Y. Hold on. It says Yale. <laughs> Excuse me, is this King Street? Uh, close, but Audrey Street. Is that a Sasa Lagran scarf? No. I'm not for Azerbaijan. I'm for Galfrey. I thought you said Galligate. They've obviously <laughs> just came for outer space. How did you can? Well, one, they just appeared for Newai. And two, that means a Dalek. <coughs> Far you. I'm the doctor. Doctor Far. Correct. Yep. Try it this one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dr. Fa. Dr. Fa who? <laughs> I like your scarf. Do you want to swap? No. So, is this the TARDIS? No, it's the TARVIS. So, what does TARVIS stand for? Time and relative to... I don't know, Kate. It doesn't stand for one thing. <coughs> and far she? Oh, this is my granddaughter, Cheryl. She's not half attractive. Hey, she is to a zarby. <laughs> and far this boy? Well, that's Dalek Buchan. He's half Dalek. What's the other half? I'm joking. 
So, what are you doing here? We were putting in petrol. Well, we were actually looking for the keys of time. And how many keys is there? Seven. And how many have you got? Nine. <laughs> have you tried eBay? Oh, aye. And I was just out by two quid four times. So, what do they look like? Well, they look like keys. Like that in your hand. Here, wait a minute. I've seen them. I tell this you! This is 17! I tell you! <laughs> ah, right. No need to rub it in. So, fit are they for? How do you ken that? Father collects all seven keys, has control over space and time. My mother collects them. Fit keys of time. time? No, scarves. <laughs> <laughs> do you ken somebody called Davros? Aye. He's here. He's digging a big hole under St. Marcus Cathedral. Fit four. I didn't ken for sure, but me and the minister got deducted by Davros. Him and the Daleks did experiments on us. Wait a minute, have we met before? Oh, no, no. I never forget a moo. Moo? So it That's was you! Oh, I'm half sorry. That's fit why I stopped being a Dalek and joined the, the doctor. But why do you call her the doctor? You're a real doctor. She's me. I am such a real doctor. I hear PhD. Aye, Peter Heed Academy. <laughs> so, fit your PhD a boot. About 200 pages. <laughs> no, the topic. I've got in and out. You've got a PhD? No, a topic. <laughs> <laughs> but I like boosts better than topics. Fit was the subject or your PhD? It was about how to mark fire. <clears throat> and fit was your conclusion? That matches are no good when it's wheat. <laughs> and picnics. Oh, what I just said. Picnics are no good when it's wheat. No, I like picnics better than topics. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have to decide fit to do about Davros, doctor. If you have any ideas. Well, Ken and Davros, you'll be creating a wormhole for the Daleks to come to Earth. Oh, I didn't think so. Oh, no. The Daleks aren't speaking to him right now. But why? He blew up some Skyrus. Oh, hello, did somebody mention blowing up something? <laughs> Davros blew up some Skyrus. <laughs> oh, hooray! <clears throat> he must have done it in the future. If it happened, he made a wormhole on St. Skyrus. But Daleks are too big for wormholes. Aye, but he was able to shrink them down to the size of a tadpole. And far did this wormhole go? Uranus, tell ya. And then there was a second wormhole for Uranus to Dundee. But nobody wanted to go to Dundee. <laughs> Plus, they wouldn't pay extra for the luggage, so he just blew it up. <coughs> well, if he's blown up the Daleks, he'll be creating some other master race. I once made a wormhole in our toilet. <laughs> Shut up. <coughs> it's true. It never got clogged. Did you get the instructions for TV21? Aye. Me and I. I used to get TV21. In fact, I was in it. But then they stopped delivering mines. The loan's bike was not fast enough. Hey, fit that sound. Fit sound. That sound. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? You must be Dr. Farr. That's me. You didn't look much like your forty. Far are you? Cheryl. Cheryl? <laughs> Aye, it's not Cheryl Far, though. It's Cheryl Noble. And Far are you? I'm Clint. Clint East Nuke. <laughs> <laughs> and Far are you? I'm a Dr. Buckin for Mintla. All right. What's this little assembly for? We're just about to save the universe. No, your nay. You are coming with me. Far you. That's enough of your lip, man. I'm Detective Chief Superintendent Carr. Should we call you Supercar? 
And you, Dr. Farr, are under arrest. What for? For travelling back and forth in time without due care and attention. Plus, you're exceeding the supposed speed limit. Is it a speed limit? It's supposed to one. <laughs> <laughs> the posted speed limit. Fun. The hell time. She stole a police box and a. Oh, that's right. Stealing police property to wit one police box and one truncheon. It was me that stole your truncheon. <laughs> Look, whatever it is you want him for, there's something more important. Davros is trying to mark a wormhole. I can him. I've got him in my sights and all. Let me see. I tell you, smoking in the lobby at Malmaison and swicking on the bus. Well, he's here, under St. Marker's. Come on then, let's go. Excuse me, Doctor. Fit. Have you been to Pandora? Never heard of it. You're kidding me. Have you never seen the film? Fit film. Avatar Land. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I would go. Can't for why? Oh. Because I, I fancy trapping a smurf. <laughs> <laughs>